Gaming on Linux has come a long way in recent years, with more and more AAA titles now being released on the platform. In fact, many gamers have made the switch to Linux as their primary gaming operating system due to its stability, performance, and flexibility. One of the main advantages of gaming on Linux is that it allows you to take full control of your system. Unlike other operating systems, Linux gives you the ability to customize and optimize your system to your specific needs and preferences. This is especially useful for gamers, as you can fine-tune your system for maximum performance and stability. Another benefit of gaming on Linux is the wide range of available games. While the selection of native Linux games is still somewhat limited compared to Windows, there are now many ways to play popular games on the platform. This includes the use of compatibility layers such as Wine, which allows you to run Windows games on Linux, as well as the availability of popular game streaming services like Steam, which has a large library of games available for Linux. One of the key factors to consider when gaming on Linux is the hardware you are using. While Linux is generally more lightweight and efficient than other operating systems, it is important to ensure that your hardware is up to the task of running the games you want to play. This includes having a fast processor, plenty of RAM, and a powerful graphics card. In addition to hardware, it is also important to choose the right distribution of Linux for gaming. Some distributions, such as Ubuntu and Fedora, are known for their user-friendliness and are a good choice for beginners. Others, such as Arch Linux and Gentoo, are more geared towards advanced users and offer a more customizable experience. Once you have the right hardware and distribution set up, the next step is to install and configure your games. If you are using native Linux games or compatibility layers like Wine, you can simply install the games as you would any other software on your system. If you are using a game streaming service like Steam, you will need to install the Steam client and then purchase and download the games you want to play. In addition to installing and configuring your games, it is also important to optimize your system for gaming. This includes disabling unnecessary processes and services, setting up a gaming-specific desktop environment, and configuring settings such as power management and kernel parameters to ensure the best possible performance. Finally, it is important to keep your system and games up to date. This includes updating your operating system and drivers, as well as patching and updating your games to ensure that you are getting the best possible performance and stability. Overall, gaming on Linux can be a rewarding and enjoyable experience for both beginner and advanced gamers. With the right hardware, distribution, and configuration, you can enjoy all of your favorite games on the platform with minimal hassle and maximum performance. In the end, I would like to talk about Steam's Proton. Proton is a compatibility layer developed by Valve, the company behind the popular Steam digital distribution platform for video games. Proton allows users to play Windows-only games on Linux, a free and open-source operating system, by providing an emulation layer that translates Windows system calls into their Linux equivalents. Proton was released in 2018 as a beta version and has since become an integral part of the Steam platform, with over 6,000 games available for play on Linux through Proton. It has been well received by the gaming community and has helped to improve the overall state of Linux gaming by making it possible to play a wider range of games on the platform. Proton is built on top of Wine, a long-standing open-source compatibility layer that allows users to run Windows applications on Linux. However, Proton differs from Wine in that it is specifically designed and optimized for gaming, with support for features such as DirectX, game controller support, and Steam's in-game overlay. Proton also includes additional libraries and utilities, such as DXVK, which improves performance and compatibility for DirectX-based games. One of the benefits of using Proton is the ability to play games that are not officially supported on Linux. 
Many popular games, such as Grand Theft Auto V, The Witcher 3, and Doom Eternal, can be played on Linux using Proton, even if they do not have official Linux ports. Proton also makes it possible to play newer games that may not be supported by older versions of Wine. Proton is also regularly updated and maintained by Valve, with new versions released on a regular basis to improve compatibility and fix issues. Users can easily enable Proton for specific games through the Steam client, and the platform also includes a rating system that allows users to rate the performance and compatibility of individual games with Proton. While Proton has greatly improved the state of Linux gaming, it is not a perfect solution and may not work with every game. Some games may have compatibility issues or may not perform as well as their native counterparts, particularly if they are more demanding or rely on specific hardware features. However, the vast majority of games that have been tested with Proton have worked well and have provided a good gaming experience on Linux. Overall, Steam Proton is a powerful tool that has greatly expanded the range of games available on Linux and has made it easier for users to play Windows-only games on the platform. It is an essential tool for any Linux gamer and has helped to make Linux a viable option for gaming. If you liked this video please like, subscribe, and share.